Susan Gardner here from Municipal World. We're at the 2019 Federation of Canadian Municipalities Conference in beautiful Quebec City. Joining me in the Municipal World Media Centre is Mayor Jill Latteroux from the town of Black River, Matheson, Ontario. Welcome, Mayor Latteroux. Thank you so much for inviting me today. So glad you could come in. Um, so for folks who don't know, tell us a little bit about uh, Black River, Matheson, where it's situated, um, a, a little bit of the, the history. All right, Black River Matheson is based a population of approximately 2,500 people. Uh, it's a mining, agriculture, forestry uh, environment of industries. Uh, we're situated about uh, three hours north of North Bay, and uh, Timmins uh, approximately is east uh, west of us of approximately 90 kilometers. So we are basically uh, striving to. Uh, attract and retain new industries over and above so we can stabilize our economies and uh, I, I grow uh, to the next level. Okay, so you're north of North Bay, quite a ways, and um, it, North Bay, Timmins, those are kind of the nearest uh, large communities. Centers, yes. Yeah, so uh, you're kind of by definition uh, rural remote. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so uh, What's what were the traditional industries that uh, brought Black River Matheson into? Basically, uh, forestry was the biggest uh, push and uh, growth that initiated the development of uh, Black River Matheson, and mining, of course, was the next big thing. And uh, we're surrounded by gold, so it's uh, not a bad position to be in. No, we're surrounded by gold. So uh, uh, the town of Timmins has got the City of Gold logo, uh, which is pushed uh, very highly in the uh, industry itself. So Black River Matheson itself is growing also in the agriculture end of things, uh, because the Mennonite families are all um, immigrating up north to expand and grow with their families to the fertile land that we have. So that's that's a real asset for us to uh, to help and uh, sustain for more of it during the future. So um, those traditional uh, industries that you mentioned, forestry, mining, to what extent do those uh, continue to uh, feed into the economy? Uh, well, today? basically the, uh, the uh, immigration of new employees, uh, there's new growth uh, with exploration happening with the mines, uh, they're looking for more housing, so with more housing we need to uh, attract new uh, immigrants to the area uh, to help us uh, help them continue to grow and this way it will, uh, it will uh, lengthen our economic uh, stability. Uh, with, the uh, with the forestry, sorry, um, that has changed and there's a paradigm shift going on with the, uh, the forestry itself because the need has, has totally been changed by the government uh, regulations and all that and uh, the endangered, endangered species also is getting into that, uh, that area of restriction. So we're really paying attention to, to bring that forward. Okay, so some challenges there uh, in the face of you know changes that communities uh, everywhere are facing, uh, and you mentioned attracting and retaining folks. So, what sort of uh, what sort of strategies are you uh, deploying? Well, basically, we uh, we went ahead and we needed somebody outside of the box from uh, the regular vision that Matheson, Black River Matheson has had over the years. So we brought in a new CEO with economic development background uh, from the south end of the province uh, to help us envision how can we attract and sustain what we have and increase our services or even sustain that. So the immigration is another facet of us to, to stop the out-migration from our town, from our generation that uh, are leaving. Uh, to bring them back or bring new families to uh, uh, attract industries or uh, help the ones that are, are there presently. So um, this uh, bringing in somebody with an economic development background, this is something that we're seeing um, a lot more, uh, particularly smaller communities do that don't have, um, that don't have uh, that uh, role, a dedicated role 
they're looking for, you know, a CAO or city manager that has that kind of background to uh, help drive that forward. How is that working out for you in? Uh, well, we're very fortunate to, to uh, have found a CEO with that qualification through a process that uh, uh, previous council put together. Uh, we basically uh, uh, hired a consultant, a third party consultant. It used to be an ad hoc committee that was created within the, the, the council board. But they didn't have the uh, the outside view of what we needed as far as attracting how to attract, and uh, this third party with the McQuig Institute to analyze characters that would fit in our wants and needs along the way came all together and eventually found a pro proper candidate that uh, brought it to uh, the, is bringing it to the next level right now, which is the new CAO. That's fantastic. What kinds of initiatives? Do you have going on in the community right now that are kind of this uh, geared to this economic development and growth to drive your vision forward for the future? Well, basically, uh, first, um, the biggest thing that we're always missing is uh, the upselling of our of our centralized location of Black River Matheson because the Trans Canada Highway goes right in front of our doors. We have the rail system. We're totally accessible to the Quebec Highway 101 east to uh, Quebec Province. So being so centralized, uh, we created uh, an attraction by having a teeny tiny summit, which is represent representation of what is happening in small rural areas. So we invited mayors and uh, different delegates along the way to do presentation, keynote speaker from Australia, and uh, we put a, a punch, uh, like a sales pitch, that this is where it's happening. and. Get the eyes looking at us on all levels, from municipal to provincial to federal, and try to move that forward. That's fantastic. So, um, tell me um, if you'd like me to come in and uh, live and work in uh, Black River, Matheson. Mm -hmm. uh, why would I want to do that? Well, the quality of life, first of all, if you like the, the great outdoors, we have all that, um, and plus. Uh, hiking, biking, fishing, snowmobiling, anything that's really to outdoors or just relaxing and hearing the birds sing for once in your lifetime instead of uh, train, planes and automobiles. Right. Uh, this is a new lifestyle that people are looking for. Um, with the stresses of life itself, we have the asset to bring that level of stress to a, a real acceptable level and still have access to the internet and all that stuff to, to function properly because you now with the internet you know that I, we can be anywhere. I will still have uh, access to high speed and uh, be able yes. to watch my Netflix in Black River Matheson. That is correct. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's great. Um, so uh, what's in store for the future in Black River? What's, what's your vision for, um, well, for the future years ahead? Yeah, well, there's a multifaceted uh, question and answer to that one because, of course, we're looking for the the, the next pearl. And uh, basically, like I stated uh, to different uh, uh, mayors, what is your plan? Well, our plan is basically to promote our area by approaching as many investors and turning their attention to our location and the availability of uh, services and workforce that we have and uh, the fact that we're on the Trans Canada, it's right in our front door, and we can basically grow by lifting enough rocks, like they say to uh, a northern way is, if you lift enough rocks, you'll get the worm, right? Yes. So that's where we're at right now with the new economic development uh, idea and our CEO. We're spearheading all that with council, and we're really putting the, the feet to the ground and running with it. Fantastic. Is there any particular advice that you'd give to other rural remote communities that might be facing uh, uh, similar challenges? Uh, what's your advice to them? Well, basically, be open to accepting uh, the outside resources that are available to you. And uh, I know we're all running tight budgets and uh, we're trying to be as streamlined as we can, but sometimes hiring the extra hand that you need to make a heavy, heavy load of work lighter. Uh, I think you need to spend that money for an investment purpose. And uh, that's, that's the mindset that we have to uh, open up to. Thank you so much for coming in and chatting with us. I'm Susan Gardner from Municipal World, here with Mayor Latteroux from Black River Matheson. We share your stories. Thank you.